Uh, greetings, everyone. I want us to look at our theorem three, how to prove this particular theorem, right? Now, this theorem basically stated that now an angle that is subtended by what a diameter is a right angle. Okay, and let's understand what is a diameter firstly. Our diameter basically, it is going to be that particular line that divides our what our cycle into two equal halves right into two equal halves right so basically now what is this mean which means now we are saying if you are having a line that divides uh the our uh, the circle into two equal halves then it forms a 90 degree within our triangle right now let's see in terms of how can we prove this right uh, now, in order for us to prove here, firstly, we are going to start here, which means we are required to prove that your angle C is equal to what is equal to 90 degrees. So we are going to start here. We are going to say our angle A, our angle O, and our angle B is going to be equal to 180 degrees. What does that mean? Our, our angle A, O, B, which means this particular angle here is going to be equal to 180 degrees. What does that mean? Why are we saying that? Because this is going to be uh, an angle... Uh, this is going to be angle on a what on a straight line. Remember, uh, remember, uh, an angle that is on a straight line it adds it adds up to what it adds up to one hundred and eighty degrees, right? Now, secondly, what is it that we know? Now, remember that your angle AOB, your angle AOB is going to be the angle at the center, right? So, which means you can also say that your angle AOB, right? Your angle AOB is going to be uh twice angle what uh twice angle a c what a c b why because this is an angle at the center right remember that angle at the center is twice the angle what two times the angle at the what at the circum right or uh, at the circumference of your circle which means now if this is the angle at your center the angle that is subtended there in your circumference of your circle is going to what it's going to be twice that which means we are using what we are using the each uh we are using the reasons of theorem number two to prove that right so after we've proven that what is it what is our aop already we know that our aop is given by 180 degrees so 180 uh eight degrees is going to be two uh a what a c p right now what is it that we know we can divide by two here we can divide by two which means therefore our angle acp our angle acp is going to be equal to 90 degrees if that's the case therefore you can conclude that our angle c indeed is going to be equal to uh 90 degrees therefore uh and we are going to say now angle c is equal to 90 degrees because this is going to be an angle subtended what subtended by what by diameter how to get so this is going to be because this is an angle subtended by what by diameter an angle that is subtended by diameter it forms a 90 degrees how to get so this is just the general proof of this particular theorem right now uh it's just going to be straightforward there's nothing much you can just do on this particular theorem but it is important to understand that now the what uh, our diameter subtends a what a 90 degree angle. That's what we are taking out from this particular theorem. Thank you very much.